Uh, thank you very much. Uh, we had some amazing things happen today. As you know, my son is graduating from high school, and it looks like the judge will not let me go to the graduation of my son, who's worked very, very hard. Uh, he's a great student. He's very proud of the fact that he did so well. I was looking forward for years to have a graduation with his mother and father there. And it looks like the judges are going to allow me to escape this scam. It's a scam trial. If you read all of the legal pundits, all of the legal scholars today, there's not one that I see that said this is a case that should be brought or tried. It's a scam. It's a political witch hunt. We've got a real problem with this judge. We have a real problem with a lot of things having to do with this trial, including the DA. Because you go right outside and people are being mugged and killed all day long and he's sitting here all day with about 10 or 12 prosecutors over nothing. Over nothing. Over what, over what people say, over what people say shouldn't be a trial. So I just want to thank you very much, but uh, that I can't go to my son's graduation or that I can't go to the United States Supreme Court, that I'm not in Georgia or Florida or North Carolina campaigning like I should be, it's perfect for the radical left Democrats. That's exactly what they want. This is about election interference. That's all it's about. Thank you very much. This is one on. of the most pathetic, petty, self-harming acts of political suicide I've ever witnessed. Donald Trump should go to his son's graduation. Mm. Right? Ooh. Go to the graduation. Honestly, if you're watching President Trump, just go to the graduation. Every parent in America, mm -hmm. whether they like you or hate you, mm -hmm. will go, yeah, I'd have done that too. Because this case is utterly ridiculous. Why would you not think that what you're doing here is going to almost guarantee Donald Trump wins the next election? If this judge says he can't attend Barron's high school graduation, he wins in a landslide. He'll win California. Our, yeah. Yeah. That happens. It would be nice to hear a Democrat get honest here and say, we get it. This case is bogus, purely political, but we're OK with it. Right. We're just trying to bring Trump down or we'll lose the election. That's just admit it. Our campaign strategy is to eliminate his campaign strategy. For me, there is something wonderfully poetic about the fact that despite the fact that even if convicted, he's not going to go to prison. The first person to actually criminally prosecute Donald Trump is a black Harvard grad. He's prosecuting you, Donald. And a black woman is doing that same exact thing in Georgia. And a black woman forced you to pay a $175 million fine. Donald Trump is being held to account by the very multicultural, multiracial democracy that he's trying to dismantle. And for me, there's something poetic and actually wonderful about that. It hmm. says something good about our country that we're still capable of having that happen. Go DEI. My DEIs are bringing it home on today. Hmm.